This video is brought to you by Robinhood, the free and easy to use investment and trading brokerage. Robinhood allows you to trade and buy stocks, ETFs, bonds, and cryptocurrencies completely free. Also, if you download using the link in the description below, you'll get one free stock valued up to $200 just for signing up. No, you don't have to deposit a dime and you can become instantly a part owner in companies like Microsoft, Walmart, McDonald's, or Disney just by getting lucky. So download Robinhood today and start to taking advantage of this historic 2020 stock market crash no that's not my full portfolio you guys aren't ready for that just yet what's up youtube capital g here got a couple of quick duels for you guys to check out our first tool is featuring that other deck from the secret slayers booster pack and like it or hate it that's how most players look at the rika archetype you look at the small deck building booster sets like secret slayers and others dark saviors etc etc and and Secret Slayers gave us, you know, El Dorado and Ad Emancipators. And we know that those are two of arguably the best decks in the format. And Rika, well, <laughs> let's just be nice here and say it definitely ain't meta. But uh, if you can figure this deck out, there's definitely some cool plays. Almost all of them involve XC summoning. But there also is a little bit of link plays in here because I still think Aroma Seraphy Jasmine is a pretty nuts card. Anyways, if you guys like duels like this, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button otherwise youtube ain't showing this video to nobody and it definitely helps my channel out and it really helps with the youtube algorithm only takes a second anyways rika are up first and um i'm be honest i don't really know if rika is a go first or go second deck it feels like it has to be go first because a lot of your plays like your main starter plays revolve around things like lone fire blossom and evil thorn evil thorn is pretty cool because it obviously just like plus ones but then it also tributes itself so you can and some of your other Rika monsters from your hand. So that's pretty nice. It's a natural transition into things like Aroma Seraphy Jasmine, and then you can tribute that for uh, the level one Rika Petal. This is the one that's basically like, well, you can either Rota one of your Rika monsters, or you can Foolish Burial it. I think Rotaing it is actually uh, significantly better because it gives you like just straight up combo extensions. You can get the level eight out of your deck, and then the level eight can also summon the level six. The level six searches for a spell and trap, and then the eight can, uh, well, then at that point, you can just go for like a rank eight play, which you're going to see here a lot of people myself included we were just i mean a little disappointed with the rika eight you know she was a card that was on the cover of the pack and everything and uh she's just kind of like a watered down version of dingirsu <laughs> wanted a little bit more of her but uh, it is what it is anyways heroes are gonna go second and uh they might be looking to power through this board not this one like rika are not gonna give you like the strongest disruptions the you know teardrop rika queen is gonna get more powerful so at least that's kind of nice but she is a card that you know she's not the like the she's not the hardest thing to get off the field anyways we got a little bit of a throwback play bottomless trap hole i remember when that card got limited to one because everybody was playing it in every deck and people wouldn't stop playing it in their decks but we got miracle fusion as our follow-up play this player is not messing around now she does have a pop she is you know uh she is some form of removal and she can pop a card during your opponent's turn uh that's going to be probably the decimator you can probably take that down if you pop absolute zero you're going to lose your entire field too so that doesn't make sense to pop i would probably try to deal with ab zero a little later like find some way to get it off the field anyways um this one the level one's going to come back because he controls all plant monsters so you do get a free plus one there and we'll see exactly where this gonna go i don't understand um like i don't understand anti-spell fragrance and heroes maybe if you're well i guess if you're going first and you can get dark law plus anti-spell okay you know what no, sound second thought that actually does sound really good <laughs> anti-spell fragrance plus dark law sounds ridiculous so that would actually that would make me understand that play anyways we actually have some trap trick monsters in here don't forget that they are plant monsters too and um you know you can use them for like the trap holes we already saw bottomless this was a really interesting play so he's using paradox fusion and this is a card that makes you tribute a fusion monster to essentially stop one of your well it's just like a solemn judgment it can stop a special summon or it can stop like um a, a, a spell or a trap card now it doesn't tribute your monster permanently it just banishes it for a couple of turns the interesting thing is it actually triggers the abzero's effect so you basically 
get the nuclear opponent's board now he is going to go ahead and destroy something because if he didn't use the rika queen she was just going to die for no purpose so why not just get a pop out of it but don't worry he is going to be able to recover i think he's going to actually drop another teardrop yeah he drops another one anyway so it's perfectly fine and the cool thing is your ab zero triggers when you use paradox fusion and then you get it two so you get it back two turns later <laughs> and then if your opponent kills it again then it just nukes their field again so that's actually, that's actually a really cheeky play anyways uh i believe that's no i don't think we're going to see that that much more out of the Rika deck during this turn really just uh, going for a little bit of setup plays can't use the spell card because anti spell is on the field and it looks like heroes oh heroes got wrecked there trying to activate the ferris in hand and gets hit by the grave hole do not forget people this card has burn damage i've actually seen so many people teching this in i don't know whether it's just because of reflasia and the fact that you know you can go into reflasia and stop things like nibiru but uh it seems like this card might actually be pretty popular i'm pretty sure that uh people are gonna be like picking this this card up just because of that now it doesn't destroy the monster but if you can stop the ferris for a turn you might be able to capitalize anyways i don't know if you guys noticed but the ab zero is a is 4 000 attack because all of these monsters on the field are water attributes so the ab zero seems to be kind of chilling saying you know what go ahead and summon as many rikas as you want i'm getting stronger he's finally going to get it off the field but ab zero says i'm taking you down with me nukes the entire board he is going to be able to summon that trap tricks dianera and that means he can go for the uh, rika the rika xc4 this is the one that i actually think is the best one because it's a rank four it's generic you don't need rika monsters at all and then you just detach a material and draw a card and if it goes to the graveyard pretty much by any way even if you tribute it it ranks itself up into another rika xc monster so to me like this is the most insane of all like the, the rika xc monsters she's the most useful so he's going to activate the call of the haunted that also has a tribute clause built into it and his opponent will solemn that but the thing is as i said even when she's tributed she still will get her effect so you're not actually taking a neg she's gonna come back to the field she'll rank herself up and then your other rika monsters will activate since you did tribute a monster on field and this is where you know you can start getting a little bit of momentum with this deck the rika uh xc6 this one right here who does come back with a material because when she ranks herself up she comes with a material this one is built in monster reborn so you can just really go for some cool plays makes another copy and that is going to be a gg no re what was that set card uh, did we ever actually see what that set card was ah it was a dark calling but i, I don't think we i don't think the um the hero player ever actually got to uh any any what's it called any evil heroes so i don't think that that was a live play anyway second duel we got a volcanic sighting anytime i get volcanics uh, i always got to give a shout out to pain 96 you'll get those volcanic cards one day pain i i believe in that because <laughs> you believe in it too uh we got the god deck versus volcanics i think the god deck so he set metal reflect slime and then also storming mirror force man you know i know nobody plays the mirror forces anymore but so many times in Yu-Gi-Oh, i just see these really powerful boards and i see people attacking and i'm just like man if they only had a mirror force anyways i believe the volcanic Volcanic Rocket is going to attack, but it's going to find Metal Reflect Slime. You're not going to attack into a 3,000 Defender. And we know right now, a lot of people like to turn Metal Reflect Slime into, you know, the new Egyptian Slime God. So you don't want this card to just sit on the field because now you can just turn it into a big beater. I love that, by the way. This card was always pretty much useless it was just kind of like you know I, I guess bait for dm fanboys and stuff like that but now you can turn it into a 3000 beater turn really good defense into really good offense plus this card can't be destroyed by battle and it also has 3000 defense too so it's just a nice way of kind of it's kind of like ranking it up into a much bigger beater and then you get the protection of mound of the bound creator and uh your opponent might actually have some problems here now at this point he is going to use ash blossom i probably would not have asked that i, I just would have waited I, I think the volcanic deck has so many cards like they have so many draw cards whether it be pot of avarice or you know a magic planner there's royal firestorm guards which he has two of i would have saved my ash blossom for one of those but it is what it is by the way check out this bait this is <laughs> this is the power of non-hard ones for turns when you got archetypes from like the gx era as uh you know the the volcanic archetype is he thinks he's about to do some big damage with this egyptian god slime oh my goodness check your graveyard fool he's got three copies of volcanic counter in there obviously ain't no hard ones for turns on any of these volcanic cards and he's using one two and three that is nine thousand damage to the face you should have checked the graveyard before attacking honestly i'm not really sure 
what he could have done. I mean, you look at this guy's hand. I mean, I, I just don't think this deck is equipped to deal with that type of card. Most decks aren't. Well, no, actually, if you called by the grave, then you basically just win because you called by the grave, you banish one copy, and you turn the other two off. So, like, that would have solved the problem. But, uh, or I, I guess, like, multiple copies of DD Crow, maybe. But, uh, yeah, you got to check the graveyard whenever you're playing against a Volcanic deck. Volcanics, they are super susceptible by called or to called by the grave. But if you don't have that card, obviously, you're going to be SOL. Anyways, let's go ahead and check out. Uh, okay, we got the Volcanic deck here. I know people are probably going to be interested in that. Interesting, he's just running every single fire monster he can think of. I mean, this one isn't even, uh, it's not even a pyro, so it can't be recycled with Royal Fire Slim Guards. But it does, you know, Time Lords can be kind of difficult to deal with. And this is the one that has your opponent's life points, which actually makes sense in Time Lords because if you have your opponent's life points and at minimum, they're at 4,000 damage. There's a decent chance you can just win with burn damage. I mean, we just saw a guy take 9,000 in burn damage in a single attack. So I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure you can find a way to do some burn damage uh, equivalent to like 4,000 with Volcanic Counter. And then obviously with like Scatter Shot and you got the Pot of Avarice to constantly recycle those cards. You don't just have to rely on Royal Firestorm guards. And uh, whoops, see, I did not mean to exit out of that. We have the other deck, the Rika deck for those of you guys who are interested in playing the Rika. Look, I'm not i'm not no rika expert i'm not gonna really try to explain this one i'm just gonna say if you're really interested in playing rika or the volcanic deck for that matter of course the links will be in the description below you guys can download the decks and figure them out because uh don't nobody really know what that other deck from uh secret slayers actually does except the rika fans anyways thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already and turn on that notification bell for daily videos